In this tutorial, we will study division in SQL. We will also work with some aggregate operators and some queries they use to group by. So for that, we will solve seven exercises. Okay, so we study the division first in relational algebra, and we say that uh, this type of queries get some, the keyword all. So in this case, we want sales who have reset all. So for example, if we change that and we want sum, then this is a simple join. But when we got that, it means, okay, the whole table votes. I mean, all the elements there should be associated with sales. So in this case, they didn't specify, but they want the name. And the way that we want to implement, again, there will be multiple ways of implementing these queries, but I want to be consistent in using the nested query with the double word, not, not exist. So for example, here, I want to select sailors, the sailors name such that there isn't a boat. So that's what it says here. So there is not a boat such that there isn't a reservation that for that boat that has been made but that sailor so which at the end will imply that he has reserved all those boats right and that's the way that we're going to implement it so so this is the way that we're going to have the division and i think this will be my very first query for today here so for number one this is what we have, find sailor's name, who has reset all votes, and this is the one that I want you to practice. So this will be my query, and we will implement that in our Oracle account. And this is the result that I got once I executed there. And then um, something that we do not have in a relational algebra and makes SQL even more powerful than relational algebra is that we got aggregate operators. So we got aggregate operators to count, to sum, to average, max, and min. So these are very helpful and we shouldn't confuse these with just simple functions or that functions will return a value that we can compare someplace. So for example, here, and it's, they are not functions, so for example, here, select count, so so they should be here, the count, so this is how many sailors we have. And then, uh, this, uh, that will be a simple query, I think I have something like that as my second exercise. So, for example, list the total number of sailors. So, if I go there, so this is something really simple to do. So it says that I got uh, 14. So now you can even practice with more. So count. Now the star means I don't care. I just want to count. But you could also specify something else there. So from, I don't know, let's see, Jake Bedo, the student the table and see. So we got 24 students. So this is very simple to use. Now, the count, you see here in the format, we can count here. It means we just count rows or here. We can only count distinct values on a different attribute. For example, let's say that we want to say how many distinct H's do we have in students. Let's, let's see that query, which I don't have that in my queries, but it says count distinct. H from Jake Bezo, the student, we got six. So look at the difference. That means we got 24 students, but there are six different H's for those students. Um, so again, I hope that you practice with those. So here is the same, for example, for some, look at that we cannot use this the star because we need to specify what are the attributes that we want to, to add. Like for example, let's say that we want to sum all salaries from employees to, to get an, an estimate of how much money of the budget that we need, or some distinct ages, and the same with average, and then max and mean. We don't need to specify this thing because we're looking for the greater and the 
the, the, the greatest and the, you know, the minimum, right? The maximum and the minimum. So now here, um, for example, um, here is the um, sailors whose the name whose sailors has the, the max. So look at how here we are specifying this, so the rating, and then this matches the max of the ratings. And uh, here we will have some common mistake. Here, the first one. This is the one that we will check. So for example, here, if I want to find the age of the oldest, so maybe we'll say, well, this is, I want to find the name. So for example, this, this will be legal and, and then I will tell you why, because for example, this is the name and then the max. Uh, there is nothing to restrict and to restrict that I only want the name of the, of the oldest. I need a where, a where clause. So there is no where here. That means all names will be selected. And let's suppose that the oldest is 97. So if this, if this will legal, then we will have the name of every single sailor. And next to the name, we will have the number 97. And there is no way to distinguish which, which one is actually the oldest. So here there are some alternatives, like the one in the previous one. So here, for example, we get the, the name, and then we actually can see the age of that person. And then he will select in that age, which is in that group. And that's the way that I think we're implementing the next query. So number three should be something like this. So we copy. paste it. So that's what I have and I expect that you get the same answer. Now something else that would be very useful is grouping. We also don't have this in a relational algebra and now is that we're going to group uh, some of the rows in my table by uh, some type of attribute. So now Let's review the format of query. So I say previously that we need a select and a from. This is something that we needed. Now, after the from, we can have a where. And we also talk about that the way that this is implemented is we do the Cartesian product, then the qualification, which is the where is done for next. Then once we got that, I mean, these, these are eliminated, so the where is executed before the group by. And then we group the <coughs> resulting uh, <clears throat> sorry, the resulting tuples by the criteria, and then the where elimin eliminates something that we got it from the Cartesian product. Now we have a having that can eliminate some groups that we get after the, the grouping criteria. Now, if we don't have a where, it's okay, we don't have to have a where, but then after the from, we're going to have a group by. If we don't have a group by, we cannot have a having. The having is the group by. Okay? So this is just explaining the way that we are doing this. So this is a very interesting query in which, for example, I want to find the youngest sailor with, either, with uh, age greater than 18. So for example, if I only do this and I ignore the next line, then I will be doing something like, like the following. Uh, well, I don't have yet the... Uh, well, if, if, I, if I just implement this, then I will have an error. Because in, in here, for example, I'm getting, uh, I want to get the youngest, but there may be somebody like, for example, the actual youngest here is 16, right? But this is not going to be included in my query because I'm implementing the word first because I just want to have the youngest, but I will just go with age greater than 18. So I had this. Now, remember, if we got the mean here, it will give me a mistake. But then we're doing the grouping. So now in the grouping, we're getting groups by rating. And then now this is OK, because this will be the minimum in each rating. So the age of the minimum in each rating. Now, this is restricting the group. That it says the group has to have more than one. That means two or more sailors. So you see, though, this restricts the number of members in the group, and the members of the group, they are, they are grouped by rating. And remember, this is done after we eliminated the ones with the age. 
and I think this should be my next query and I will just show you the answer and this will be what you need to implement and I think you can just go and do the same copy and paste that in our in your Oracle account so now for number five if we compare query number four and number five you see it's basically the same the difference is, is h greater than 18 so here i think should be greater or equal than 18 well in the in the in the powerpoint they don't have the equal so let's take away the equal from there and then now this is two sailors of any age so i want them so, so the rating will release two sailors. So here is the number of members in the group has to be at least two. But then we have a problem when we compare that with the previous one because remember this says that the youngest greater than 18. So when we do this, we're eliminating those with age less than 18 from here. So once I do the grouping and then I count, I'm not counting them. Now on the next query, I still want to get the ones with age greater than 18, so I need to do this work, but I need to count members that has two or more members. So then the way that we're solving and the having is I need to open ta table sailors again. Why? Because this table S, I eliminated those that are less than 18 years old. And then, uh, but I need to count them in the groups because in the groups can be any ages, the number of members. So you see, so that's the main difference. You see here we're counting and it's okay when we're counting in that current group. But now it says, okay, we're grouping by rating, yes. But now in the groups, I want that there are, I mean, there are no restrictions in the number of age. And um, this is another interesting query that we have here. So it says find those ratings for which the average H is the minimum overall for uh, the, all the ratings. So what, what I want to illustrate here is that we have the uh, creating a temporary table here. So look at that we have this. Now in the textbook to use the AS here to, uh, to, to say that this will be equal to that. That is not allowed in uh, in uh, in Oracle. So we just don't do that. So we just list the name of the table. And then also another changes that I'm making if you compare this with the PowerPoint is that here I'm opening another table because I cannot make a reference to that table on here. So I'm opening, I mean, I'm creating that again. And then finally for my last query, remember that we were solving this in the previous tutorial. So, uh, and then I highlighted that says, uh, this is not actually okay. We want at least one reservation. So now that we know the aggregate operators, we can actually solve this properly. And here we got, okay, we open table sailors, but then we want them to have a reservation. So we open reservations and then these, uh, they should be a reservation. So here I have, it's 257. So here it should be 257. So here is 257. So there is a reservation for 257 that was made by that person. And then we say count. So now that we count, this should be greater. Uh, this shouldn't be less than, than, than one. Let me see if that makes sense. Okay, I think here I need to say this is greater or equal than one. So what it means is what I get from here, it should be less than one or equal than one, right? So that's what we got. And this number can also be put there here also after the parentheses. So this is okay. Or this, well, this, this is the way that you can also test it and see, see the answer. So this will be the answers for all uh, queries for this section. Thank you.